welcome to Adornment Ministry Live. Yeah. Recording. We can listen to this one a bit. Mm. It's a uh, some two for one. Again this evening, that song is um, Matendo. It's a uh, Psalm Super One, and it's a promise that God made personally to us, and uh, that's why I chose it today morning because uh, we are speaking about we are on spiritual growth part three, mm -hmm. and uh, many people do not know that uh, when you follow God, when you seek God, then His promises, He gives you promises, mm -hmm. and God is faithful. And his promises must come to pass in your life unless you thwart them yourself. You are the only one who can uh, uh, break the promise that God has for you. Because when God gives you a promise, he has requirements. Mm -hmm. Like we saw in the economy and so yeah. on. So there's a requirement for you. So if you don't do your part, then the promise, of course, may be delayed or broken. Yeah. Depending on what, when, if you do it or not. Yes. Even that's all. So today we will, uh, Mr. Introduce us, please. Yeah, my name is Walter Dubler, mm -hmm. and this is my wife, Ada Dubler. Thank you. So, nice to, 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 to join us. We are, we are humbled. And uh, today, we are, so for Spiritual Growth Part 3, we are going to read uh, from two books. The Lord gave us uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, up to 14, and uh, First Corinthians chapter, what was it, Mommy 9? 9, verse... Uh, Nine, uh, verse 24. 24, 24. Yeah. I'll yeah. read accordingly as far as it goes, we shall yeah. read it. So Oman, I'm thinking we start I start with the Jeremiah, then I we talk a bit, mm -hmm. and then I will go to, to yeah. Corinthians. Yeah. yeah, after that. Yes. So and I read from uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty nine, verse verse um, eleven to fourteen. I just put off the music first, we can continue with it later. So, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Verse 12, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Verse 13, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. That is powerful, Omami. The, the scripture here says that uh, you will seek God yeah, with yeah. all your heart and you will find him. Yeah. And then he will bring you back from captivity. <clears throat> this captivity is, does this mean that uh, as long as you have not found God, as long as you are not seeking him, are you in captivity then? Because he says here that uh, when you seek him with all you have, you will find him and then he'll bring you mm. from captivity. Yes, exactly. Mm. And it's, uh, especially it's several times that mm. if you seek me, mm. Yeah? Mm. Uh, and that's the important thing. Yes. Yeah? Because usually, very often we think, oh, I'm, I'm looking for God. Yes. But we are looking for completely different things. Yes. We, we are looking we are looking for 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 our own fulfillment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are looking for 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 uh for our wife we are looking for 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 material things yes. uh, we are looking for health mm -hmm. but not for god yes huh? yes but this is the first thing what we look what we need to look for yes this is a basic thing mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. without we if you if you do not look for god mm -hmm. You, you will find nothing. True. True. 
You know, and you know, someone may ask that, uh, and uh, this, what the Lord has been revealing to me, Mwami, lately is that uh, majority of Christians, and being a Christian means that you're a follower of God, you believe in Christ, you are Christ-like. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's been giving me understanding lately that uh, the majority of Christians do not even identify themselves with him. They don't even seek him. They don't have a relationship with him. They depend upon others to have a relationship with Jesus on their behalf i.e. a pastor, maybe a person, who, a counselor, whoever it is that they, they decide to, to do that. And uh, for me, and then someone may ask, but how do I, I've, I've talked to God, I, I've had many people come to me and tell me that uh, I pray, I prayed for God to do ABCD for me, but he, he just refuses to answer my prayer. That thing has never happened. But then you see, here, what I'm learning from uh, the time we started sharing about obedience <laughs> is that uh, <laughs> you must pick up your cross and follow him. Yeah. Ask what you are praying for. for yes, yeah? yes. Are, are you praying for God or are you praying for something else? Because you see, for my, in my case, I've realized that when you pray, when you seek God, you truly find Him. Because I can confidently say that uh, I found God because I want even Him more and more, and it gets deeper and deeper. But then I hear a lot of people saying that uh, I love Jesus Christ is my Savior and I love Him with all my heart. But then. What do they mean by love? Because uh, when Jesus tells them, and when you, when they start telling the, their stories, for example, I've been praying for God to 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 heal this person, my mother, for example. Mm -hmm. I've been praying for God to do this and that for me, but mm -hmm. He has not done it. Mm -hmm. I begin to to get the idea that uh, maybe they don't love God the way they think they do. Because when you love Jesus, you you are supposed to pick up your cross and follow Him. And you will, he'll, he'll increase in you even as you decrease in yourself that you become empty. You, be, you deny yourself in short. Mm -hmm. Everything else on earth, you deny it. Mm -hmm. He comes first. Mm -hmm. And I'm meaning replacing your mother, your child, your everything. God should be first. Yeah. Isn't we, that so? First, we, we, need to, we need to think about mm -hmm. it, what love really means. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What is a real love? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. is, a love is, is a love something that says, I love you if... Yeah. I love you if you give me this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Then I will love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't love you if you don't give me this. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. It's the other side. It's just a consequence out of it. Yes. If you love mm -hmm. needs to be without condition, mm -hmm. unconditional. Yeah? The way, like so, so unconditional. What, yeah. what is wrong when we say, I love God, but in your mind you have the idea, I love God because he will give me this and that. Mm -hmm. He will help me with this and that. He will help me to find a good job. But you he know the funny me. thing, Omwami, the funny thing is that sometimes <clears throat> when God tells someone, like for me when God tell, told me to go to the village, I was like, God, I have my own plan. I'm supposed to go to Germany. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do this. I did not think, it, that, that was not loving God. That was not putting him in first place. And yet I didn't know that apparently what he was doing would work out for good. Because he had called me, and now I I I I, I delight in him. I mean, I love the, the the what he has done in my life. You know, because I accepted that call to go to, to Marachi. Majority of us would like, like you are saying, to think that uh, we should when we we ask God for things, He should take us. We should give Him the plan. But you yes. see, we forget that God cannot be muzzled. God cannot be bribed. God cannot be manipulated. So that, it's either His way or nothing. That makes it even worse. Yeah. At first, love yeah. is unconditional. Mm -hmm. Real love, love is unconditional. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. You love. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? mm. And but it makes it worse mm. when you say, "I love you only if you follow what what's in my mind." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm. Uh, at first, love doesn't expect anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just love, mm -hmm. and regardless this, of how it is, this love is mm -hmm. kind of is fulfilling you. Yes. Huh? Wow. And when you when you when you bring this with this love, mm -hmm. you are you are searching, heading for Jesus. You are searching for God. Yes. With an unconditional love. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. A little knock and the door will be open Hallelujah. for you. Hallelujah. Of course, if you if if you already stand there and mm -hmm. say, "Oh, I love you only if if you 
do this and mm -hmm. that and that mm -hmm. and that and mm -hmm. that and that. Yeah. And in fact, I have my exact ideas mm -hmm. what I expect from you. Mm -hmm. Do this and do that in yeah. this way. Yeah. How I expect it, how I expect mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Then you will be standing ahead of this store forever. And the saddest part of mom is that we have, we just have no idea. My daughter doesn't have, even same to me, I didn't know just how much God can do for us because. You know, when we were newly married, uh, you would, uh, whenever you would ask me what we have eaten, and I would tell you, uh, of course, automatically I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, then you would tell me, that means you don't have money. Whenever I told you we ate, I ate ugali and sukuma mm -hmm. or whatever I ate ugali and vegetables, mm -hmm. then you would tell me, you don't have money. How much do you need? And I would tell you, and, and I was not used to that. Nobody had ever asked me for how much I needed. So I would be shy. I would be ashamed to mm -hmm. say what I needed because mm -hmm. first of course I thought suppose I say a figure and maybe you don't even have it mm -hmm. then I'll be putting in a in a situation where now you you, you mm -hmm. get frustrated mm -hmm. so I would start telling you that no you know now gas also is not is not there so 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 if you can get gas and then you'll ask I asked you how much do you need and I'll tell you how much can you afford and then you would say don't ask me that because I I, I know what I can afford but you see it does not mean that I must send you what I can afford I want to send you what you need and so I told God at some point that God, I cannot go with this anymore. I cannot say a figure. That's the most, the hardest thing that I have to do to tell my husband how much I need. So God, why don't you do this thing for me? And do you know what started happening after that? Every time I was getting broke, you would just send me money. And I would not have asked. You would just send it to me. And uh, the, it, it came, uh, the, the most amazing thing one time happened when, when the Lord had uh, put on my heart that we should start building the, the cabins at the sanctuary. I, I, was, I was here, and so the day I was leaving, after he gave me the money, money to go with, the Lord told me that uh, he was supposed to give you a certain amount. And so I didn't know how to tell you. So I went home, and uh, then I wrote to you an email. And I said, uh, you, uh, God told me that you were supposed to give me a certain amount. You didn't give me. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you replied me, you just said, it was one sentence. Ada, I'm shocked at you. And that really frightened me even more. I thought to myself, my goodness, he thinks I'm trying to, to steal from him. <laughs> but the most amazing thing is that three days later, you sent me the exact amount mm -hmm. that God had told me that you were supposed to have given me. Mm -hmm. Yet, I did not mention it to you. Mm -hmm. So I would like you perhaps to explain what prompted you to send me that money because the, the sentence you wrote to me, that one sentence, shocked me so much. I was like, my goodness, mm -hmm. I've messed up. It's, it's, it uh, it, of course, now it goes in a different area mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. because this goes into an area of, about, about relations. Mm -hmm. uh, in a, in a, in a, if, you, if you let mm -hmm. God care yes. for your... Yes relation for your marriage mm. you you uh you, you have some someone kind of between you yes no mm. and and uh you get the messages from him hallelujah you you, you get the messages mm. uh sometimes he's really speaking to you yes but also, it can happen that you just get the urge mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to do this or that. Yes. No? Yes. And and uh, you follow it, mm. and and it it's exactly what was needed. Wow. What what was needed to be done. Wow. Uh, this is a, a very very nice thing. Yeah? It is, and you know. No, I, but of course, yeah. now this goes in. Of course, it has to do with spiritual development. But it goes especially in an area about uh, um, marriages. Yeah? How 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 good marriages should work out. Yes. No, I asked it because you know a lot many of us are afraid to get into a deep relationship with God because we want to use our own minds because we think that our minds are smarter. We think that I can convince my husband, my friend, my mother, my whatever, my boss to give me a rise without God. Mm -hmm. I have a better story to tell them. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's why I mentioned it. Because what I discovered is that when you leave it to God, he does it even better. Because And he even knows what you need more than you do. Mm -hmm. most, of, most, most of the time, our, our needs, we, we think we need something, but it's actually just a want, mm -hmm. a lust. Mm -hmm. But when you give it to him, mm -hmm. usually he mm -hmm. does it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He does it perfectly. 
and more than you would have imagined. Mm -hmm. So many people are afraid maybe to get into a relationship deeper, to grow spiritually, to rely on God, to learn to rely on God, to, to empty themselves, that they may uh, deny themselves and pick up the cross and follow him because they think that by using their own mind, their own intellect, their own smartness, that they do a better job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll read in, uh, in, uh, in uh, <clears throat> Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, it was verse 24. I think I can read up to perhaps 26 or 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Do you know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. For everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. That's in the world. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever, eternal, life eternal. Therefore, I do not run like a man running endlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. That's a very interesting scripture, Mommy, because many of us do not realize that we are in a race in this world. The race of God. You are created for a particular race. It's like the, the people who run, they are those who run marathons, long distance, maybe short relays, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's what they are. They, 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 they can sustain what, what they can do. Mm -hmm. For us, I believe that you are created for a particular purpose, and so this is your race. And whether you run your race or not, others are running their race. It's like going, even when you go to church, uh, many people, not everybody gets the word. Not everybody goes, but goes back home and reflects upon the word. But then most people assume that uh, the pastor is supposed to do that for them. Mm -hmm. The pastor will, 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 will read the word, wait upon God, get the understanding, come and preach to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's his part. But now from there, what are you doing yourself? Because this is individual. Seeking God and finding him, spiritual growth is individual. It's something that you make a decision about as an individual. Even as we are married. But mm -hmm. I must seek God for myself. Just like you should. Is that true? Yes, it's a very uh, seeking God is mm -hmm. a very individual thing, mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. and uh, it's up to you. Yes. Only up to you. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. uh, I I remember because you mentioned the marathon before. Yeah. <laughs> about about uh, yeah twenty years ago, mm -hmm. fifteen years ago. Mm -hmm. To um, I was too in that thing. So. Yes. Uh, marathon, long distance things, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, triathlons, and that things, and and uh, I mean, you, if you want to compete in that things, yes. Of course, I'm not the person who has any chance to get on the, uh, on the, <laughs> the uh, to, to get the crowns. <laughs> yeah. huh? yes, uh, the, the... But, uh, but I mean, uh, although in 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 the in the. Uh, Endurance race with yes. God. Yeah? Yes. There is only there is not only one crown. Yeah? No. Each one yeah. Yeah, who who get to the finish line yes. will receive the crown. Yeah? Hallelujah. So this was my opinion too. Yes. If I make it to the finish line, then, yeah. I have done it. Yeah? Yes. So, uh, but what you do mm. is that you really they oh you you, you read about uh, how how what is good. For your body, yeah. Yes. Yeah? So you will will ahead, ahead of some yeah. ahead of some competition. You will avoid mm -hmm. long walks, mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, you will also uh, try to to adjust your diet. Yeah? Yes. With eating, drinking, mm -hmm. all that things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you you of course you have to do a lot of training mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, it, it can be a pretty uh, a thing which is. Uh, pretty taking your whole Consuming your, your whole life, yeah, yeah, no? yeah. Because mm -hmm. you, everything you adjust to it, yeah? mm -hmm. you you bring in, you try to to uh, the normal things. You you try to get some some training benefit from yes. it, yeah. Yes. Like your way to way to work. You say, mm -hmm. oh, I can run to work. I can take the bike to work. To bit, so yeah. to practice to get mm -hmm. to, to get more endurance. Mm -hmm. So and and I think this is also the approach we should use if we want to get close to God. To, to God. To grow. We mm -hmm. should really think about mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Am I ready? Mm -hmm. What is what is what is what is obstructing me? Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. What what is mm -hmm. 
the heavy weights that we bring, yes, which yes. are not necessary. Is there, is, is there some hate in me? Yes, huh? exactly. Is there a lot of fear in me? Mm -hmm. Is there anger in me? Mm -hmm. uh, jealousy. Yeah, huh? yeah. And and we should work with such things. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. And also also what, what we what we put into our body. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, if if we if we fill our body with 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 bad foods. Yes. Unhealthy foods, mm -hmm. uh, it will cause problems yes. from, from stomach pain to, yeah. to other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and as more we are, we are, we are stuck in such things, yeah. as, as easier, as, as more difficult it gets yeah. to, to, to approach God. Yeah. It, it's, um, uh, yeah, you, you, we need to see our life. Mm -hmm. In, in another perspective. Yes. No? So you are saying that uh, I don't have to to, to fast, to, 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 to read the word, to pray longer, just be, when, only when I need something from God, that this should just be my lifestyle. I should just fellowship with God, take time to worship Him yes, yes, as, yes. as normal, as part of my and, daily routine. And, uh, of course, it will also affect your, your, your daily routine very much. Mm -hmm. no? mm. I mean, if you if you feel when you feel close to God, yes, no? mm. uh, it 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 uh, will be will be. You might have get even troubles in work. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah, yeah, definitely. With, yeah, with uh, mm. the boss, like if, if you have if you have employees beyond you, uh, you are, will be no more able to 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 suck them in a way which is which is normal in our yeah. businesses. Yeah, yeah, in no? uh, in the world, no? yeah, yeah. You will be more interested, let's yeah. say, to help the mm. people. Yes, mm. No? Mm. if there are troubles. Yeah. No? and and this are all all this these things come together and and make the 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 ground for. For uh, in fact, it, it comes kind of automatically because yeah, it's yeah. It, it's uh, you cannot be close to God and 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 and, and destroy the life of other people. Yeah, because He transforms you as you yeah. walk. He transforms you little by little yeah, yeah. into His likeness, yeah. into His own image, yeah. which He made us to into His righteousness. Yeah. And you become as holy as as because God is available for all of us, but mm -hmm. it's up to each individual mm -hmm. to to desire. To pick yeah. up their cross, deny themselves, and follow God. Seek Him with all they have, and then find Him. Yeah. And then when He He starts taking over your life, and it becomes so good because He tells you things even in advance. He tells mm -hmm. you He makes it clear to you what you should mm -hmm. be following your purpose. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Scripture says, everything works for good to those who love yeah, God. And I mean, uh, God to one 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 example. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, some weeks ago I went to a supermarket. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, I when checking out at paid mm. for the things I had bought mm -hmm. and, and then I realized that mm. the cashier mm. gave me 20 euros too much change. Mm. No? Mm. Mm. So yeah. I said, sorry, this is wrong and gave her the 20 euros back. Of course, wow. she was very happy yeah. because usually in supermarket, if they have missing mm. some money missing in, mm. in, in, in the thing, mm. they need to pay it themselves. Oh, no? yeah. So, uh, uh, and it was, it come, came just according yeah. Automatically, yeah. I mean, normally I could say, "Oh, she has given me ah, it's her fault." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I twenty yeah. euros. Yeah. It's just yeah. some money. Yeah, yeah. Of course, huh? yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, you, you, God disciplines you as as, a, and God has given us the spirit of discipline, mm -hmm. and 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 He has given us power. We just refuse to be serious. We mm -hmm. just refuse to be so meek, uh, not even meek, fearful mm -hmm. that we, we 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 instead we go towards the devil's side. So, mommy is saying that uh, it's possible. For each and every individual, and if that were to happen, that every Christian would run their race. Can you imagine what would be going on in the world? Because Christians are the majority in this world. Yeah. And uh, if if we just lived according to God's precepts, picked up our cross every morning, and followed God, mm -hmm. can you imagine how the world would turn change? Because we would love each other. Mm -hmm. We would we, we would uh, be selfless. Mm -hmm. We would be. Can you just imagine that picture of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Now Christians are walking like that in the way that they are supposed to. We are supposed to do. Yeah. How do you think the world would be? Mm -hmm. I mean, would be so I mean can you imagine in, mm -hmm. su in such a world yeah, mm -hmm. when when uh, the Christians are really following this? Yeah. 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 
Yesterday we saw a movie yeah, mm -hmm. where, a, where a pastor mm -hmm. who lived in a big house mm -hmm. drove a nice car, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. an American pastor, mm -hmm. uh, went, out, went, went out to distribute little food packages mm -hmm. to the poor there on the street. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. it's better to receive a food package than nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But, I mean, there is no comparison between his lifestyle mm -hmm. yeah. and the lifestyle mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of of these people on the mm -hmm. street. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And he had a very big house. He, he, could, have, <laughs> he could have invited oh, five or six <laughs> of the people in his house. So, uh, at least for a at least for a nice dinner and not for a for, for a sandwich out of old bread. <laughs> well, he can he can argue that he's doing he's doing that. What are you doing or what am I doing? So the the point is uh, to get close to God so that you can be transformed into His likeness more and more, so that you can grow into His righteousness, so that you can become holy and just love because God is love and love is God. Mm -hmm. So and and we are able to do that as long as we deny ourselves and. Uh, take our course and, and follow him. Yeah. And so, uh, and I can just imagine the picture. If mm. we were all, even just being kind to each other. Yeah. Huh? Just, you know, and, and you know, the minute you start living this lifetime of following God, the more you get to know him, the more he's transforming you into his likeness, the more you, all these jealousies, all this unforgiveness, all this that stuff drops off you. And you become healthy because you have no weights extra waste mm -hmm. that you are carrying, mm -hmm. yeah? the waste that we put upon ourselves, yeah. ourselves. Yeah? Isn't mm -hmm. that one, so yes. money? So uh, do you have any other word to, 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 to say to our, uh, our uh, me, my prayer for, for everyone who is watching us is that uh, they may desire to know God for who he is, mm -hmm. to pick up their cross and follow God, to grow spiritually, not to remain stagnant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My desire is that they would discover this wonderful life because it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm experiencing it and it's wonderful. Because as for me, I'm running my race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm running my race and uh, I have decided that I must run until I complete. I don't know about your mom. Mm -hmm. well, of course you want to complete your race. <laughs> I want to complete. I wanted to complete every marathon I participated in. <laughs> Did you complete them? Yes, yes, oh. of course. <laughs> Congratulations at number one. Of course, I know the Kenyans meet you definitely. Don't, don't ask me. No way for the, for the, for the <laughs> <laughs> one time, <clears throat> one time I participated in a half marathon. Yes. In, not too far from here. Yeah. And there was even one of the one of the uh, Kenyan women uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, who, won, who won about one or two years later. Yeah. Uh, who won who, who won the New York marathon? Martha, uh, yes. And and uh, and though I, I arrived I arrived very late. Yeah? Mm -hmm, yeah. And and though and it's just a more local thing. Yeah. yeah but yeah. they have very famous runners sometimes participating in it. Yes. And and so I I, I just tried to get in somewhere into the field. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and 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 so I I, I made it on. I, I was standing about in, in the second or third row yeah, yes. of the competitors, yeah, yes. where, where normally only the real fast runners go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was just about ten ten meters away was the Kenyan women. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and then it was a shoot, boom, and all started to run. Yeah. I mean, after I made it for about two hundred meters. Uh, yes. And then I, oh, I realized that I'm in the wrong place here. <laughs> People are passing me like we. I'm passing, yes. <clears throat> At first, I tried to keep uh, keep pace with them. Yeah, yeah. But I just made it for 100 or 200 meters. Oh, yeah. and, and then it was like a sprint for me yeah. um, from the endurance. What would they could do the whole marathon? Huh? So I'm I just relaxed. Uh, just relaxed. Really relaxed. relaxed. Let it uh, go, go back to my own pace. Yeah. Uh, to to the more places below below the line. <laughs> yeah. But you know that the most the most beautiful about uh, God's race, the one that uh, He has set for us, is that He deals with us individually, so that you are you are race. He's running with just you. He's just you are the first and last according to you. Yeah. So if you want to go faster, you get deeper into Him, and then He'll move you so fast. Mm -hmm. Into your purpose mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. in this world, but if you want to go slow, fine. Mm -hmm. You can waste an entire lifetime. Most people do. So mm -hmm. the beauty about God's race is that it's just it's up to you mm -hmm. how fast you are going to run it. Yeah. Isn't that so? 
Yes. That's a blessing. That's a, that's yeah, that's a blessing. So we are very thankful. Oh, mommy, today I chose this song, uh, Matendo, which is uh, the script of Psalm Triple uh, One, because God gave us those promises. God gave us these promises, and uh, the people who can hear this song will uh, will understand it. Or I mean, the, the Kenyans can understand it in Swahili, but the rest of uh, of uh, the people they can. They just can, read. They can enjoy the music. Music and read. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, some. So we leave it a bit with you. We are so happy that you came to us, that uh, you watched us this afternoon. We want to believe that uh, you will take up your process, follow him, mm -hmm. obey him, and just f seek him and find him and grow in him. Mm -hmm. And uh, th that would be lovely. Because for us, our ministry is about witnessing for God in truth. Mm -hmm. We will not cheat you that there's a, a short way that you can bribe God, that you can give in a, 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 a what? That you sow seed mm -hmm. to get instantly. No. God cannot be muzzled, he cannot be manipulated, he cannot be bribed. Mm -hmm. But he's for free. Yeah, and he can be loved unconditionally. Yeah, unconditionally. Huh? The yeah. same way he loves you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for being with us. Just uh, listen to Matendo for a while. Mm. It's sunny here, Mommy, today. Is it at warm? Oh, not really warm. <coughs> but I mean, to the end of October, it's good temperature. Hey, we are saying this is going to be This is very really cold. I drink my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have a hot water bottle. We are saying that it's, it's uh, warm. In fact, let me have my hot water bottle, Mommy, please. Just have it to me. Hmm? You see, and you say that it's it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> By nature, by by Oil for no. your legs. I don't want a trophy. I want, I, I want cash. Yeah, it's only because you have the big ones. So yeah. There's a big competition, and uh, that's a business for itself. Okay. Uh, and then I'll remain in God's uh, uh, <coughs> place. 
healthy. Yeah. So when it's guys come into you, it is more healthy. It's more healthy. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Thank you so much.